Atmospheric escape is the loss of planetary atmospheric gases to outer space. A number of different mechanisms can be responsible for atmospheric escape, these processes can be divided into thermal escape, non-thermal escape, and impact erosion. The relative importance of each loss process is a function of the planet's mass, its atmosphere composition, and its distance from its Sun. Categorizing the rate of atmospheric escape in exoplanets is important to determining the likelihood of life. <laughs> Thermal escape mechanisms Thermal escape occurs when molecular kinetic energy overcomes gravitational energy, in other words, a molecule can escape when it is moving faster than the escape velocity of its planet. <laughs> Genes escape One classical thermal escape mechanism is Jeans escape, named after British astronomer Sir James Jeans, who first described this process of atmospheric loss. In a quantity of gas, the average velocity of any one molecule is measured by the gas temperature, but the velocities of individual molecules change as they collide with one another, gaining and losing kinetic energy. The variation in kinetic energy among the molecules is described by the Maxwell distribution. The kinetic energy, mass, and velocity of a molecule are related by E K I N equals 1 2 M V Two display style e underscore mathet kin equals frac one two m v caret two. Individual molecules in the high tail of the distribution may reach escape velocity and leave the atmosphere, provided they can escape before undergoing another collision. This happens predominantly in the exosphere, where the mean free path is proportional to the scale height. Molecular concentration at the exobase is limited by diffusion through the atmosphere. Three factors strongly contribute to the relative importance of genes escape, mass of the molecule, mass of the planet, and available thermal energy from the parent star. More massive molecules have lower average velocity at a given temperature compared with lighter molecules, and so are less likely to reach escape velocity. This is why hydrogen escapes from an atmosphere more easily than carbon dioxide. Second, a planet with a larger mass has more gravity, so the escape velocity is greater, and fewer particles will gain the energy required to escape. This is why the gas giant planets still retain significant amounts of hydrogen and helium, which escape more readily from Earth's atmosphere. Finally, the distance a planet orbits from a star also plays a part. A close planet has a hotter atmosphere, with higher velocities and hence, a greater likelihood of escape. Venus is about the same size as Earth but has much less hydrogen in its atmosphere, due in part to its proximity to the Sun. A distant body has a cooler atmosphere, with lower velocities, and less chance of escape. This helps Titan, which is small compared to Earth but further from the Sun, retain its atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrodynamic escape An atmosphere with a high enough pressure and temperature can also undergo hydrodynamic escape. 
In this case, a large amount of thermal energy, usually through extreme ultraviolet radiation, is deposited into the atmosphere. As molecules are heated, they expand upwards and are further accelerated until they reach escape velocity. In this process, lighter molecules can drag heavier molecules with them through collisions as a larger quantity of gas escapes. Hydrodynamic escape has been observed for exoplanets close to their host star, including several hot Jupiters HD 209458b, HD 189733b and a hot Neptune GJ 436b. Topic Non-thermal escape Non-thermal or suprathermal escape describes escape due to non-thermal interactions. Most of these processes occur due to photochemistry or charged particle interactions. Photochemical escape In the upper atmosphere, high-energy ultraviolet photons can react more readily with molecules. Photodissociation can provide enough energy for products to escape. Photoionization produces ions, which can get trapped in the planet's magnetosphere or undergo dissociative recombination. In the first case, these ions may undergo escape mechanisms described below. In the second case, the ion recombines with an electron, releases energy, and can escape. <laughs> Sputtering escape Excess kinetic energy from the solar wind can impart sufficient energy to eject atmospheric particles, similar to sputtering from a solid surface. This type of interaction is more pronounced in the absence of a planetary magnetosphere, as the electrically charged solar wind is deflected by magnetic fields, which mitigates the loss of atmosphere. Topic. Charge exchange escape Ions in the solar wind or magnetosphere can charge exchange with molecules in the upper atmosphere. A fast-moving ion can capture the electron from a slow atmospheric neutral, creating a fast neutral and a slow ion. The slow ion is trapped on the magnetic field lines, but the fast neutral can escape. <inaudible> Polar wind escape Atmospheric molecules can also escape from the polar regions on a planet with a magnetosphere, due to the polar wind. Near the poles of a magnetosphere, the magnetic field lines are open, allowing a pathway for ions in the atmosphere to exhaust into space. <laughs> Impact erosion The impact of a large meteoroid can lead to the loss of atmosphere. If a collision is energetic enough, it is possible for ejecta, including atmospheric molecules, to reach escape velocity. The amount of ejecta which can escape from a planet depends only on impact velocity. Whereas the net gain or loss of a planetary atmosphere depends on total impact energy. In order to have a significant effect on atmospheric escape, the radius of the impacting body must be larger than the scale height. 
the projectile can impart momentum, and thereby facilitate escape of the atmosphere, in three main ways, a the meteoroid heats and accelerates the gas it encounters as it travels through the atmosphere, b solid ejecta from the impact crater heat atmospheric particles through drag as they are ejected, and c the impact creates vapor which expands away from the surface. In the first case, the heated gas can escape in a manner similar to hydrodynamic escape, albeit on a more localized scale. Most of the escape from impact erosion occurs due to case C. The maximum atmosphere that can be ejected is above a plane tangent to the impact site. Dominant atmospheric escape and loss processes in the Solar System <inaudible> Earth Atmospheric escape of hydrogen on Earth is due to genes escape approximately 10 to 40 percent, charge exchange escape approximately 60 to 90 percent, and polar wind escape approximately 10 to 15 percent, currently losing about 3 kg per second of hydrogen. The Earth additionally loses approximately 50 grams per second of helium primarily through polar wind escape. Escape of other atmospheric constituents is much smaller. A Japanese research team in 2017 found some oxygen ions on the Moon that came from the Earth. In one billion year, the Sun will be 10% brighter than it is now, making it hot enough for Earth to lose enough hydrogen to space to cause it to lose all of its water. See future of Earth hashtag loss of oceans. Topic. Venus Recent models indicate that hydrogen escape on Venus is largely due to photochemical reactions and charge exchange with the solar wind. Oxygen escape is dominated by charge exchange and sputtering escape. Venus Express measured the effect of coronal mass ejections on the rate of atmospheric escape of Venus, and researchers found a factor of 1.9 increase in escape rate during periods of increased coronal mass ejections compared with calmer space weather. <laughs> Mars. Primordial Mars also suffered from the cumulative effects of multiple small impact erosion events. Evidence for this is found in isotope ratios, such as that of argon, that are less than that found in the Sun. Genes escape plays an important role as the continued escape of hydrogen on Mars, as does solar wind charge exchange. Heavier atoms, such as oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen, on Mars are primarily lost due to photochemical reactions and interactions with the solar wind. Titan and Io Saturn's moon Titan and Jupiter's moon Io have atmospheres and are subject to atmospheric loss processes. They have no magnetic fields of their own, but orbit planets with powerful magnetic fields, which protects these moons from the solar wind when its orbit is within the bow shock. However Titan spends roughly half of its transit time outside of the bow shock, subjected to unimpeded solar winds. The kinetic energy gained from pickup and sputtering associated with the solar winds increases thermal escape throughout the transit of Titan, causing neutral hydrogen to escape. The escaped hydrogen maintains an orbit following in the wake of Titan, creating a neutral hydrogen torus around Saturn. 
Io, in its transit around Jupiter, encounters a plasma cloud. Interaction with the plasma cloud induces sputtering, kicking off sodium particles. The interaction produces a stationary banana-shaped charged sodium cloud along a part of the orbit of Io. Other atmospheric loss mechanisms Sequestration is not a form of escape from the planet, but a loss of molecules from the atmosphere and into the planet. It occurs on Earth when water vapor condenses to form rain or glacial ice, when carbon dioxide is sequestered in sediments or cycled through the oceans, or when rocks are oxidized for example, by increasing the oxidation states of ferric rocks from Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus. Gases can also be sequestered by adsorption, where fine particles in the regolith capture gas which adheres to the surface particles. <laughs> 